Uh, hello guys, this is Nitesh here. So today's uh, it's a live uh, practical session uh, to analyze a large amount of data sets that we'll be going to look over here. Uh, how? Let's uh, have a look over here. First, you have to log in uh, <coughs> from your account that is uh, from Amazon Web Services. And first of all, for that, uh, you need to provide your credit card details too. It's not like the, they're charging you uh, though it's a free of cost account, but still, they are, like it's a need. It's uh, one of the criteria that uh, you have to fill uh, while creating this account that is for Amazon Web Services. You need to put your credit card details too. That's the thing. And apart from that, uh, now we are inside our Amazon Web Services, and as you can see, this is the dashboard of your Amazon Web Services. Here, what we'll be going to do, we'll be going to create one of the operations that uh, we call as your word count. The name of the operation it's a word count that is how the number of words will be going to count across the process, across the data sets which is provided from our data cell, uh, which is provided from Amazon itself and uh, if you talk about your mapper and reducer function all that will be going to provide by our Amazon itself that will be going to uh, take the input as well as the mapper and reduce the function too and based on that will be going to perform some operation that we call as MapReduce and based on that we'll be getting the output. So for that how, let's have a look over here. The first and foremost thing that we have to start with our S3, that is your Amazon S3. Uh, it's uh, basically it's a cloud storage for the internet and it is uh, designed to make your web scale computing easier for the developers and apart from that it also provides you a simple web services interface uh, that can be used to store and uh, retrieve any amount of data at any time from anywhere on the web. So let's have a look over here. As you can see inside this section, uh, first and foremost thing that we have to do that is your create bucket and for this I'll be going to give a name that's the name of my bucket so as you can see it's being created the two buckets are there one it was uh, for 101 that's uh, that was present before it's uh, and now the new one that we have created that is your Gyansha 102 that's the bucket name let's have a look inside as you can see it's uh, empty so the next step just guys be focused with the uh, steps that I'll be going to show you over here that will make you more clear that what exactly the things are going on and how we'll be going to uh, like create this operation and how to perform all this. So I need you to just be focused with this. The next step guys that is uh, inside your login section as you can see when security and credentials are there. And this you have to click on this. So this is the thing that you have to click, security and credentials. So based on that, you'll be getting our one dialog box. So as you can see, this is the dialog box. You have to just click on continue to security credentials. Just click on this. After clicking on that, the next thing you have to do that is access keys. That is your uh, access key ID and secret access key. As you can see too, IDs are already active. Uh, though main thing is that over here, <clears throat> you need to create access keys. That to by default two times, like two access keys have to be there. So in this case, as you can see, two are both are active. So I'll be going to delete one of the access keys. So that uh, I'll be going to show you that how we can create the new access keys. So as you can see, I've just deleted the one and now we are having only one access key which is active as you can see one it is in active mode but now the next thing you have to do that is create new access key so as you can see now I have downloaded and saved the file it's been saved inside my downloads root key one I have given so it's been saved and as you can see now two keys are active. That's what you need to do over here. That is uh, inside your security credentials. So this is your next uh, second step. Now the third step that you need to do that is go to the virtual servers in the cloud. 
that is your EC2. Basically EC2 it provides you the scalable virtual service. So it's, let's uh, have a look inside this. So as you can see we are inside this and in this section uh, basically you need to create a key peers. So as you can see uh, as you can see we are already having one key peer. So now you need to create the new one. I'm going to create a new uh, new key peer and I'll be writing it as key peer, key peer 102. That's the name of my key peer and I've created and as you can see my key is there and it's being created over there. So this is my key peer. The next step you need to do that is inside your elastic map produce that is uh, <coughs> inside your manage Hadoop framework basically EMR that is your elastic map produce it's uh, like one of the web service uh, that makes it easy to quickly and cost effectively process that too like uh, if you talk about your vast amounts of data that makes it easier and uh, quicker if you want to deal with your vast amounts of data and apart from that it is easy to use it's a very elastic it's like a <coughs> it's a low cost it's a very reliable secure and flexible too that's your elastic map produce so we have to move inside our elastic map produce and here are the things that we need to do that is uh, we have to create a cluster as you can see I just click on the section that is create cluster after that you need to configure sample application now to click on this as you can see select sample application output location logging debugging so basically these are the operations uh, in one of the dialog box you'll be getting like this click on this as you can see there are various options that is a pick script high script a custom jar and word count in this all the cases uh, the one case that uh, will be going to follow that is your word count word count means uh, the counting the number of words has been repeated in our whole process so based on that it will be going to perform one of the operation that is word count and the next step that is uh, inside your output location you need to give your bucket name though my bucket name is Gyansha 102 so that's uh, my bucket name and the next thing you need to do that is uh, logging after logging and folder section is there that you have to collect over here that is uh, select over here that is your select Gyansha 102 just click on that as you can see it's been selected and rest thing that is your logging and debugging it has to be like uh, enabled so just click on OK now as you can see though as you can see there are various uh, many more operations are there for that you need to give your own input you need to give your own mapper and reducer function or else you can uh, have your own mapper or else you can uh, take your Amazon Web Services they're having their own input files so in this case we'll be going to take the input files from Amazon Web Services itself and whatever the data that we will gonna analyze that data that and that data will be from your Amazon Web Services itself so as you can see there are various many more options are there but uh, we're going to perform with word count where we'll be getting the number of words how many times they have been repeated across the <coughs> cluster so that's the thing as you can see they have been selected over there this is the thing now you, you know, now you have configured with your cluster configuration you've done and the next step that you need to do that is security and access as you can see though you have created the key pair the name of your key pair is key pair 102 that's the name of your key pair then you need to select over here that is inside uh, security and access and rest things as you can see the hardware configuration the software configuration that will remain same that will remain as it is no need to change anything and lastly inside your steps as you can see I need to move inside your steps click on these steps as you can see uh, the step type that is a uh, streaming program and a name that is your word count that's the name of our operation the next thing that is your mapper basically here we have taken the mapper function of Amazon Web Services itself and the next thing that is your reducer again same thing we have taken the reducer of Amazon mainly to 
uh, mainly to analyze the data set which is uh, present inside your Amazon. So whatever the data which Amazon is having inside this Amazon Web Services, whole data will get processed and it will get analyzed. So this is your mapper and reducer. It will remain as it is. Why? Because we are taking the mapper and reducer function from Amazon Web Services itself. And the next thing that is your input, that is uh, S3 location. Input location, as you can see, again the same thing. Along with your mapper and reducer, the input which we are taking, that is also from your Amazon itself. So finally, the output that will be going to store inside our bucket, that's your Gyansha 102. That's the name of our bucket. So this is the things that you need to configure here. In REST, you need to just click Save. So though we haven't uh, uh, like uh, configured over in this particular steps, uh, though if you are having your own mapper function, own reducer function, and own input function, in that case you have to select these these uh, subfolders. So based on that, you'll be able to select your own input function, your uh, <coughs> mapper and reducer function too. And just click on save. As you can see, we have finished with the step. Now we need to create cluster like this. As you can see, it's taking time and it's creating. So this is the things which I have showed you. This is how we used to perform the operations inside your Amazon Web Services. So as you can see, it's uh, now in, in starting mode. So the time will come when uh, it will be moving in running step. And lastly, it will get terminated. And based on that, after getting terminated, it will gonna show you the output like this. That is inside your buckets. So as you can see here, It's still in running, it's in process as you can see. Yeah. As you can see we are uh, having only two buckets, that is Kyansha 101, that's the existing bucket which was already over there. So let's have a look inside. So as you can see inside this particular bucket you'll be getting the output like this that uh, this is your bucket ID and this is your output of your this is your operation the name of the operation inside that operation you'll be getting the output like this just click on output uh, you'll be getting subfolders like this and based on that again some subfolders uh, sub are there and lastly you'll be getting the output like this the first one that is success it shows that uh, your program has been run successfully and the next three, as you can see, these are the outputs. And it's not like the same output has been repeated three times, no. Your whole output has been divided into three parts. Parts, uh, first one that is 0, 0, 0, 0, and your second that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and third one that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 2. So this is how you get the output. So let's have a look how our output looks like. So first thing that you need to download your output. And as you can see, it's been downloaded, and that I'll be going to store inside my desktop. So it's been downloaded, and just have a look at how our output looks like. And for that, you need to open our output with the help of your notepad. So as you can see, this is our output, and this is how it looks like. And basically, the operation is that counting the number of words that how many times it has been repeated across the process. So this is how, as you can see, 1A, that is your A, has been repeated 14,716 times. The next, as you can see, that is AA, has been repeated 52 times. AAKAR has been repeated 3 times. So this is your output. Uh, so this is how it looks like. And as you can see, the next one, that is uh, adequate, the word has been repeated. 124 times. So this is how our output looks like. Now I'm just closing this one. I'll be going to show you the next output. As you can see we have downloaded. So we have save thing. So as you can see, it's taking time.
yeah, it's downloaded. Now again, we need to open it with the help of uh, your notepad. And as you can see now, the word that is A A K has been repeated three times. Your A A L B O R G has been repeated three times. As you can see, the different words are there. Apt has been repeated 42 times. So this is how our output looks like, and this is the operation for your word count. And though guys, uh, I have showed you this uh, output. Why? Because obviously after creating, after like uh, creating your cluster, after submitting the jobs and all that, obviously we're going to take some time. So as you can see now, it's still in starting mode. Though at uh, time will come when it will be, uh, it will change from starting to running. As you can see, now it's running mode. And after some time, Lastly, last stage that will be your terminating. In that case, it will show you that yeah, your operation has been run successfully and based on that you can uh, have a look uh, with your output. So this is the thing which I have showed you over here. That is uh, Gyansha101. That's, uh, that would be your name of the buckets. As you can see, we are having two buckets. Inside your bucket, it's, as you can see, it's still empty. Why? Because it is still in under process. It's in running step. Now the last step that will be your terminating step. That on <coughs> by that time itself, uh, that, that time only we'll be able to access the buckets. And inside that bucket, we'll be going to retrieve the data like this. As you can see, inside inside our bucket, we'll be having the first one that will be your bucket ID. The next one that would be the operation. Inside, uh, we'll be getting the output like this, and inside. Some subfolders will be there like this, and lastly, you will be getting the output like this. So this is how the things work inside your yeah? Amazon Web Services, and this is how we perform the Amazon Web Services. And this is uh, basically one of the distributions of your Amazon uh, of your Hadoop. So, so this is the operation. As you can see, still it's a running step. So lastly, as you can see, that last also I'll be going to show you. Just have a look. It'll make you more clear about the things. As you can see, it's been downloaded. And again, the same thing you need to do that is through Notepad. And this is how our output looks like. As you can see, AAC has been repeated three times. Editions has been repeated only one time. Airports has been repeated 1384 times. So this is how your operation looks like after working on. As you can see still it's in running still though it will bring up gonna take some more time. So I'm stopping over here. This is how our output looks like. And thank you guys. Keep watching us.